What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Game of Do here. Welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. Hopefully, you all are having a fantastic day. I kind of casually forgot what series we were doing, but let's go ahead and get past that because, you know, you know me. Sometimes, you know, my brain doesn't work, and it's okay. My brain doesn't work. So, clearly, we did not uh, heal up or do anything before this last episode, but let's go ahead pull our Mega Mewtwo back out since it is alive and well. Um, we kind of want that as a team member because we're gonna go through vast pony canyon today we're gonna get hopefully through the entirety of the thing maybe not um maybe totem next episode probably actually you know we let's think of this on a, a realistic note more than likely that would be the case that would be the thing that makes the most sense um so yeah so let's go ahead and do a quick team recap real quick as we have cassandra level 60 our entire team's up in the 60s with the infiltrator ability dragon pulse muddy water sparkling aria and core enforcer we got joey with low sweep secret power dark slayer and storm throw we have sophie with brutal swing topsy-turvy dragon claw and dark slayer we got nick level 60 with photon geyser and moon geyser beam earth the power and amnesia we have feta it's gonna fit a sweep with photon geyser discharge waterfall and moon blast and then lastly we got aaron the mega me 2x with cycle cut cross chop earthquake and aqua tile anyway let's go ahead get to it as like i said this is gonna be a really interesting episode there's gonna be a lot happening throughout the entire episode um like i said we're i'm hoping that i can get through the entirety of vast pony canyon today um Obviously, we have a totem battle potentially on the horizon as well. It's just as if if I can get through the canyon as fast as possible. Um, and if we do have a totem, then that's awesome. If we don't, you know what? We don't have a totem. That's that's literally the two things. It's like if we have it, great. If we don't, we don't. Like there's always next episode that we have two totems and like craziness. I would hope to be for for sure. Ultra Necrozma will happen next episode that i can tell you um which is crazy to think that ultra necrosm is gonna happen next episode but yeah it's happening uh we obtained a max revive nice 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 uh but still like the, after this we have the ultra necrosm fight who's gonna be level 66 which of course i'm gonna try i'm gonna go in a little bit under leveled we're probably level 64 going into there um, kind of the anticipatory hope is that we're there. It's okay for us to be where we are now, because like I said, he's going to be level 66, gives us a, and presents us a lot more of a challenge throughout the rest of the Nuzlocke. We got a Cricketune to start. Shiny, maybe? Nah. I don't even know what Shiny Cricketune looks like, but I would hope that it looks beautiful, because it better. Um, my brain nearly went into extreme randomizer vibes, only because our current live series right now that we literally just started two days ago on sunday is a x extreme randomizer shiny lock and i'm excited for that as well dragon pulse it up get this thing out of here but yeah no i'm excited i mean it's an amazing kind of series and something that i haven't seen um personally uh much of i think i've definitely seen that idea be executed at some point like there's no way it has it it's would be two log types that you would think have already been combined if not then surprise surprise but i think they have been already uh, so i'm not like oh it's something new everybody also i just realized how much bug type actually sucks for us like just now realize that bug type is not fun and i don't like it uh with this team but with all that being said i can now basically give you a date for the Genlock Marathon. And, well, I theoretically I could give you a date. So let's see. As it's doing its thing. So today is Tuesday the 18th. Um, and episode goes out today uh, and tomorrow. So 36 is when our Ultra Necrozma is Wednesday. 37, 38 is on the 23rd, 39 is the 24th, probably next week, Wednesday. If, I, if I'm if i going to take a, uh, a meander and a guess, I would probably say next week, Wednesday, is going to be the 
uh, Genlock thingy my bobber marathon because that would give the marathon two day like a 48 hour run like 24 hour run time maybe even actually the, t the 27th and then on Friday the 28th would be the finale that sounds perfect actually um boom bruh this series ends in a week this is not real this is not real life this series will literally end in a week Because Wednesday's episode, Friday's episode, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's seven episodes. Oh my gosh! We uh because Victory Road is super quick. We're basically What the heck? Seven episodes. That realization. So yeah. There it is. The 27th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when the uh that's a mega ladios okay uh or ladios but yeah 27th at 10 a.m is gonna be when the genlock marathon is gonna be and then friday the 28th is the finale because i have that off let's go i got finale day off let's freaking go that that totally was not planned but hey we got it to work somehow mystically got everything to work out <laughs> definitely not planned but if it works it works right if it ain't broke don't fix it um anyway that's hilarious so yeah no this series wraps up and i gotta get everything set up for saga lock the choose my starter on that what a way to start september you know september is oh my god that did way too much september's a great month um and Soglock's gonna start. As much as that doesn't feel true, it is, and you know, Soglock beginning um, is the start of a new era. Like, because that's gonna be a super long project. Um, it's a project similar. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I can't stay in. Um, kind of, it's kind of similar to Generation Race, but it's also different. Um, we can't, me and Troll came up with this idea in, like, March, um, but it's a solo Let's Play. It's like, like I said, it's Generation Race in a way, not really, but, like, because I'm carrying the Nuzlocke each, I'm carrying the Nuzlocke through the eighth gener, eight generations, of, seven generations of Pokemon. The eighth generation is questioned, but yeah. Um, and I'll explain kind of the idea, how it works, what it does, um, and everything in the first episode of that series, which I intend on not premiering because premieres do terrible. Um, like, because it gets treated as a live stream, so they don't do very good unless it's like a hangout, come hang out and do stuff with us. Um, and so, because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and not premiere it. It will be up. Um, hopefully I can get an actual graphic artist, um, because it's gonna be a Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday series, so it's actually gonna be a three-day-a-week series. So, actually, it would be a phenomenal start to September. Wow! And then the Choose My Starter would go up, and then it wouldn't actually start until the 7th of September interesting also here's our encounter so yeah the 7th of september a new series um no i not i'm just gonna run i don't care uh should i care it's gen 6 and we already got greninja we already have a dragon type i don't intend to lose this one so yeah let's go ahead and run uh but yeah like yeah september 7th is gonna be the, the september 1st is the choose my starter more than likely Wow. I know I'm talking about other series is within this series, and it's kind of like a weird, like, what is he doing? Why is he talking about his future plans now? Um, and it's because, you know, I love you guys, and I can talk about this, and it's super easy to talk about, so. But yeah, no. Crazy, crazy times over on the Gamer Duo, but, you know, we're out here. Is that a Mega 2? Yep, it is. How did I know? It's almost like, uh, uh, my luck is terrible, and it's pretty easy to determine whether or not something bad's about to happen. Um, the Venusaur's an issue, so let's go ahead and swap out into Nick, because that's the only logical explanation. And then, 
Storm throw the fur frow, I guess. Kind of seems like uh what's the, what should happen. So why dazzling gleam? That's a weird move. Okay, you know what? We deal with this dazzling gleam. If it wants to have a weird move, let it have a weird move, because then we don't have to worry about much. Critical hits. It didn't even matter because Storm Throw has a 100% chance to crit. Um, like, I was like, oh yeah, critical hit. And it's like, wait a minute, it doesn't actually matter because it literally is the same either way. Um, <laughs> like, it would have crit no matter what. Dazzling Gleam hitting both opponents was actually kind of, oh my god. Yeah, it's actually really nice because it splits the damage, but if it, because if it didn't split the damage, I'd have an issue. Then again, I wouldn't have Joey out on just a plain old Venusaur. Like, in a 1v1 situation, so it doesn't actually really matter. But, still, Dazzling Gleam is a little, a little rough, a little scary. Um, and I respect them for having it, not even gonna lie. I really, I truly do respect the AI for actually having something decent for once in their life and not being terrible. But, you know, things happen. Everything wants to be as good as possible. And also, you know, this is an opportunity for me to use Tauros and I just am not doing, or not taking it to that opportunity. Swalot appears. Let's freaking go, dog. It's Swalot. You know, I want to eat a Qualot berry because, you know, they taste so... I'm not, I'm not Frank. I can't make jokes. I don't know how Frank does it. Oh, I actually have to use Tauros. I was like, this is an opportunity to use Tauros, and I'm failing in that opportunity. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you actually have to. So you remembered something, but didn't actually think you are remembering something. So you question yourself, and then you realize you're right, and you're mad that you question yourself. That's the cycle of life. Not even gonna lie. Every single day, that is the story of my life. Just gotta question literally everything that I do. Um, and then it's like, oh, wait, did I do this right? Why did I do this right? If I did it wrong, how did I do it wrong? What can I do better? How do blah, blah, blah. And you know, self questioning and self reflecting is great in moderation. Because self reflecting too much it be is gets to a point in which you're just beating yourself up for absolute, like beating yourself up mercil mercilessly, and then it's not actually helping. And it doesn't actually help at a specific point. And so, always trust yourself, but always be open-minded to any... Wow, that was the most random bar out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, trust yourself, but be, be open-minded and, you know, know that it's a possibility. Oh, I can't do that. Shoot. Now I don't need Tauros. Like, this is the actual victory road. You know, because Victory Road is not actually Victory Road. Dang, if only you were shiny. I actually re I recall the shiny in this thing being, like, literally fire. Um, and figuratively. <laughs> literally and figuratively fire. But, yeah, no, like, this is, dang, Hariyama, I love it. Uh... If we got a, I like how we got a Noibat here, but yet, you know, there's Hariyama, Heracross, Ambor, like, and a whole slew of a thousand times better mons. That's the Nuzlocke for you. Um, ooh, it's an Elite Four title defense Faba. If only. Imagine if I had to fight the title defense people. Um, Zachary said out a Jinx. Oof. That is a massive oof. That's gonna get wrecked to pieces. Not by Cassandra, because Cassandra literally will die to this thing. Um, actually, Jinx is a little... You know, I was making fun of Jinx just a second ago, and I just realized Jinx has the potential to be an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Aaron, though, because it should be fine. Um, but everything's neutral, so it might not be fine, depending on the situation. Ah, we're good. That does a maximum of 100 damage. So, we're totally fine. And we're gonna go ahead and cross chop that. Should kill if it doesn't miss. Cause you're a jinx. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, if you don't kill, then you don't deserve to be on the team anymore. Um, 
<laughs> Not even gonna lie. Mega Me Too should kill a lot of things. Parasect. Yay. Um, crud. That's not great. And I don't appreciate it because, again, bug is terrible and water or, and grass is even worse for our team. Um, Joey doesn't have anything. I don't, nobody really has anything for this thing. You're, I think, our best. Nope, because resisted, 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 and neutral. Resisted, resisted. Normal, normal. Terrible moveset, and you're weak to it. Terrible moves, or good moveset, for, but not for this Mon. Same situation here, but you resist. Resisted, resisted. I'm going to go to fit up. I think that's the best option. I don't necessarily praise and love that option, but it's an option that I have to take, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Moonblast, and that's about all we can do. Nothing else that we can really relatively be like, oh yeah, not a problem, but. That special attack. Hey, I'm a grass type. Grass and fairy. As long as you don't have a poison move, then I'm fine. If you throw a poison move at me, I'm going to be pissed. Although, because, yeah, you just made your bug move as neutral, which is actually really smart, relatively speaking. Um, but, again, with max AI, I would assume that they would make a smart play like that. And just they don't have a team of six, so they're not that much of an issue. Like, to be fair, they could be much worse if they had teams of six. Um... And then Lily's gonna be like, oh my god, guess what? I can cross a bridge. <laughs> I love the fact that I can cross a bridge now. It's not like something I could have done in the beginning of anything else. Um, yeah, it does not look like we're gonna be able to fight um, Totem in this battle or in this episode because time constraints. Um, I like to keep these episodes in like the 20 minute range. That last episode that went out, that was 30 minutes. It was just like, oh, that's long. So with this being that 20 minute, hopefully trying to get to that 20 minute like. I. It'll probably end up being more like 25 minutes because I still have the three battles before the thingy. Um. Because I have to go all the way down and around and stuff like that, so. Because I want to take and make the shortcut so I can just easily just jet into the next episode. Guys, I crossed the bridge! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! And then, of course, your character's like, bruh, you crossed a bridge. Congratulations. You did absolutely nothing new other than you were scared to cross a bridge before because of some random bridge phobia, I guess. I don't know. There's got to be a phobia of bridges. There's got That's got to exist, right? That There's got to be a word for it. There's absolutely no way that there's not a word for that kind of a phobia. Um, speaking of, Cherim has appeared. That is totally fine. We're going to go ahead and, you know, run away from it as you, per usual. Um, you know, with all these being level 43 and us being level 60-something, it really doesn't matter. Um, I avoided that Pokeball for a reason. Don't worry. Shroomish. That's almost like... A good Pokemon that I wish I would have had. I'm joking. I really don't. Noivern's better, and I passed up on a Noivern, so like. <laughs> Plus, it's from a generation that I actually really needed. Noivern probably. Passing up on Noivern was probably a mistake, and I'm not even gonna lie, but you know, I'm gonna pretend like it definitely wasn't a mistake and go on. And yeah, pretend it wasn't a mistake. That sounds like a great idea. But. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing what we can, and that's what matters. Jeez Louise. The 30,000 encounters I'm getting in here doesn't help make the episode go shorter. Uh, you know, I like said, I like my episode lengths being a specific length, and it's not helping. Um, although I could use a repel. I probably have one, not even going to lie. I probably have a repel and just am not using it. Or not. 
Oh no, I see one. Max repel. I was like, I swear I have them. I have one. That's it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, I don't usually carry repels on me. I'm not a. I'm not the speedrunner kind of person. So, again, it totally makes sense. Um. Oh crap. Wait, no, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, I did it. Yay! I did it right without thinking I did it right. I always do that. I'm like, oh no, I did it wrong. And then you realize you did it right. It's okay. Um. But oh, yeah, we're chilling. We're big chilling here. We're gonna fight her, make our way down, and end the episode. I think that's perfect, because then we'll open up that shortcut. Because we'll be right there for the shortcut. Um, and then next episode, we got two totems. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Because your boy is not ready to get destroyed. But I'm gonna pretend that I'm ready just because, you know, pretending and faking it till you make it, you know? Gotta fake the fact that you're not gonna die to this Arachnid. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Araquanid. Totally not at all a threat to my winning the Nuzlocke. Overgrown? Turns into Ice Body. Okay. Overgrowth theoretically could have been better, but if you're only going for roleplay, then I'm down. Hey, we got the para. We got that. That mattered. That actually really did. That mad. That really did matter. Um, as that could potentially end this Araquanid's life. Probably not, though. I did. Oh, it didn't. Wait. Oh, uh, I hate when they live on a sliver of health because. My brain doesn't recognize the fact that there's a sliver of health there. Like, I can't, I couldn't see the red. Um, again, a lot of it, as you can see, I'm far away from my screen. Um, like, I can literally, I have a full arm length and another full arm length, probably, um, to my screen. And it's small on my screen, too, because I don't full screen my stuff. Because, you know, especially when I have situations in which I am attempting to collab with people I, I care about seeing them and like their reactions to things more than the gameplay that i'm doing um and that's always been the case you know i like talking and being with the people that i'm hanging out with um as much as i'm literally a total introvert um and i that's part of the reason why i'm totally okay with doing solo let's plays like this is because literally being by myself and doing this is so powerful to my state of mind, it's literally insane. Although, what else is literally insane is the fact that we're gonna end this episode here after we open up this shortcut. I hope every single one of you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, and tomorrow, I will be back even stronger. Um, going to take on two different totems. Kind of insane, kind of wild, and we'll see you then.